Maybe it'd be more accurate to ask when cats domesticated people, am I right? Hi everybody and welcome to Cats and Pats. So cats are popular, like really popular. In the United States, cats are the most popular house pet, with about 90 million kitties in about 34% of the homes. Another way of saying it, about one in three families have a kitty. But who can stop at one, am I right? Oh, I'm not counting fish, so they might be behind fish, but whatever. And for a quick comparison, according to a 2007 study in the UK, kitties were number two behind dogs. Oh, and another cool fact, according to a 2007 Gallup poll study, both men and women were equally likely to own a cat. But when and how did cats and people become companions? Well first, it might be worth getting a quick definition of domestication, which author and scientist Jared Diamond used these six criteria. Animals must be easy to feed, they must grow and mature at a rate that makes economic sense, whatever that means, they have to breed well in captivity to keep the population going, they have to be generally nice animals, they can't be prone to freakouts, and the social structure of the species has to be strong. So loosey-goosey definition, but good enough for us. So when did domestication happen? Well, just like anything that happened a long time ago, the precise time is kind of hard to pin down. First, we know cats were part of Egyptian culture, so depending on which period of Egypt's lifespan you use, that's already taken us back two to 5,000-ish years. However, in 2004, archaeologists unearthed a site in Cyprus, and at that site they found a cat that was deliberately buried with a human, which indicates that cats were domesticated at that time. Oh, and that site was about 9,500 years old. So people and cats have been hanging out for roughly 10,000 years or so, with some people saying a little more and some people saying a little less. So how do the humans domesticate kitties? Well, some people say that cats aren't fully domesticated, and I'm like, Psh, whatever. They get spoiled, they're pretty chill. I mean, anybody's prone to freak out so they get scared. And they hang out like their buddies, so I disagree with that. Others say cats domesticated themselves, which I tend to agree with. And we touched on this a little bit with my Cats of Ancient Egypt video. Cats and people had a mutually beneficial relationship. Cats were good shipmates, they could hunt like diseased carrying like rats and mice. On dry land, cats killed like mice and snakes and other pests that could get into people's food, like in their granaries and stuff. And in return, people give them like a nice place to stay. If they had leftover scraps of meat or whatever, they would leave those out for cats to get. So you see it really worked out for both species. People got protection from pests and like losing their food supplies, and cats got warm, safe, and fed. All that being said, something else I found interesting was that cats didn't really become like house pets or like indoor pets until the last 60 years or so. The main reason that happened is that clay litter was accidentally discovered in 1940. And then in like the 60s, tidy cats took off, and then people started having litter boxes and a place where the cat could go to the bathroom, and the idea of indoor cats kind of skyrocketed, which I thought was pretty interesting. So yeah, us and kitties, we go way back. So thanks for watching, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and if you like this video, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.